Now, sometimes in our queries, we want to be able to show, you know, how many customers or which customers ship to only one state or, you know, which, which music lovers only bought music in one genre and those kind of things. And in other database systems, we're able to use count distinct, but of course Microsoft Access does not support that with Access SQL, and so we need to use another method in order to get our values. And of course we can make the solution that we want using Microsoft Access, we just need to use some subqueries and things like that, and that's what we're gonna show today. Interested in more cool topics like these? Make sure to check out my Patreon, the link is in the description. Okay guys, this is a pretty fun one today. I've got this database here. It's actually the Chinook database, which many thanks to the creator of this one. I will post a link to this and the license for it. It is on GitHub, uh, but I will also be posting this on my download site if you guys wanna get a copy of this when I'm done with it. Uh, so this little database has some neat little tables in it that are normalized. And so there's a table for albums, artists, customers, etc and there's invoices and <clears throat> on each of the invoice lines uh, there's a track that's chosen so you can see who bought what and those kind of things so it's it's a practice database that I picked up and I've used this several times in SQLite and on other database platforms and I've converted for Microsoft Access so that you guys can use it as well now in this track table you can see there's a genre ID there and there's a bunch of different genres from like heavy metal and stuff like that. You can look at the genres in the genre table here. Um, and uh, there's, you know, Latin and reggae and all kinds of stuff in there. And the track table is kind of giving us the genre, uh, but we wanna know uh, who are all the customers who, who only purchased in one genre. And so that's an SQL query that we can do and we can see in our invoice and in our invoice line here you can see the track that's chosen so we're working our way back the track has the genre and then the invoice line has the track that's you know chosen for the invoice and then the the customer is you know joined on onto the invoice uh, itself so every invoice has a customer id on it and things like that so we should be able to show every customer who bought only in one genre or in seven genres or or ten genres or whatever okay so we're going to open our query design and we'll go to the sql view and i have the very nice monaco editor here that recently came out uh, it's in the Microsoft uh, the 365 version of Access, uh, so you will not see this if you're using an earlier version. Uh, for those versions, you can use something like Notepad++. It'll make your life easier, or you can just type it in as we're typing it here, and then Access will jumble it all up later once you save it. Uh, but in, in the Monaco version, it will save our formatting uh, at least mostly. And so the first thing we're going to do is we need to build a list of all of the sort of invoices and invoice lines with tracks. And so we're going to do that here. And uh, we're going to do some brackets because Access SQL really needs to use those uh, to allow us to do multiple joins. Um, it's not like other database systems where you don't need the brackets. Um, so we're going to make this nice and easy here. We're just going to do uh, select uh, from invoice line, and I'm going to give the IL um, as an alias there to make our joins a little bit easier. And we'll go inner join invoice I, and you can also type in as I if you want. You can use that syntax as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to interjoin the invoice I on IL.invoiceID. So the invoice line.invoiceID is equal to the invoice and invoice ID. So that's going to give us the product of those two tables. So we have a nice uh, big list of all of the invoice information as well as the invoice uh, line information. And you'll notice that I, I have not put any fields after select yet and that's there's a reason for that I usually build my my uh, join clauses and things first because it makes it easier to to do your selection of fields later because you might not know exactly which um, 
of the aliases that you'll be using and also in some systems and I think it does it here too it will actually filter uh, so when you type in IL dot it'll give you the fields for invoice line and things like that but if you just start typing in select and your fields you won't have those little helper functions okay so we're gonna join inner join our track table as well and that's as T on IL.trackID is equal to T.trackID. So now we're doing our select. So now we can choose our fields from here that we're gonna use. And really what we wanna get from this first list, the purpose of this first list is just to get all of the data together that we need to give us a list of, of uh, customer IDs that, that could have you know one, one genre or many genres. Uh, but we need to have that data first. And so what we'll do is we'll say i.customerID, that's gonna be from the invoice table, and then t.genreID, and that's gonna be the uh, track table. And we're going to use all three of those tables to make one list of customers and genres. And if we just hit go here on our, or hit spreadsheet view, we're going to get a list of customers with each of the genres that they have listened to. Uh, because it is a distinct list of customers and genres and so that distinct keyword is what's giving us this nice list here uh, that actually has our customers sorted already uh, one two three you see there and each of the genres that they listen to and so that's fantastic we want to use this list now and now what we're going to do is we're going to use this as a subquery for another query because now we can say we're going to select whatever we're going to use and we're actually going to use this in the uh, in the where clause of a selection statement so and we're going to use that customer id there so let's go ahead and and move our select statement down uh, this is going to help us to 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 use our subquery here oh if i could type here so there we go so we got select you can tab off of that. The nice little editor uh, helps you to fill in, you know, it'll correct some of your statements or give you suggestions. And we'll do from uh, customer, and customer is going to be uh, our main query. So in this query, we're just gonna say, give us, you know, select from the customer table because, uh, but we're gonna tell you which customers to select uh, in our where clause. And our where clause is going to be this uh, subquery here. And of course, what are we going to do in our where clause? Well, we're going to say where our customer ID. Now I'm adding some brackets here, and that's because we're going to be doing a subquery inside a subquery here, in a sense. Um, <clears throat> we're going to say where the customer ID is in the list of IDs that we're going to pass to our query. So we're going to do our customer ID, our customer.customerID, uh, and we'll use that in operator. And then, of course, uh, now we can pass in a list of customer IDs. And so we're going to say in, and then we'll go, go select customer ID from the list that we're going to pass in. Um, and so the list... It, we're not done yet because our list that we created in our subquery has all of the genres in it. So we still need to count those. And so what we're going to do is we'll say from uh, this list that we have here. But we are going to uh, uh, pop this over here. Now we're going to do in select the ID from and then we're going to do our little subquery that we created. But that query still needs to be filtered down to only those who have one genre. So there's our first select. We're going to select from the customer table whatever fields we want. But then we're going to use this where clause where the customer ID is in. And then the in the list of IDs will be this select statement from our subquery. Um, but, of course, now that we're using a second subquery, now we can we can do the group by and create that totals query uh, in order to give us back what we want. And of course, since we're using our subquery here uh, in a, to a totals query, we're going to give it a name. So we'll say, you know, as customer genres. And 
now what we can do is we can add the group by and we can add you know our the rest of what we want to see there and so now we have our subquery we're selecting from that bigger subquery but we're going to do a group by on the whole thing and that's going to help us go where we want to go and of course since we're using a group by now we can use uh, keywords like having and so that's going to get the result from the the group by that's being executed there so we can say having count equal to one and so uh, if you remember correctly, uh, you know, customer one had like, you know, a bunch of rows, two had a bunch of rows, and those ones will have, have greater than one uh, because they are using multiple genres. Uh, but some customers may have only one, and we'll also test this on some other, um, some other values, and we'll use a different operator as well. We'll try less than here in a moment just to give you an idea of how this works. So this is very, very handy. You know, how many customers purchased only from one state uh, or something like that, you know, uh, those could be targeted for, you know, advertising or whatever. Um, and that's what we could use there. So there's our select. Uh, we're selecting from where, you know, that where clause. And we've got that list of IDs coming in. So now all we have to do is just say, oh, I want this field, I want that field. I can use the little drop downs, the uh, automatic suggestion, uh, IntelliSense or whatever you might want to call it. Um, and there we go. So select customer ID, first name, last name from customer where customer ID is in. And it's in this list um, where we're only passing back ones that had a count equal to one. And we are good to go. So now I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. Let's put our as genres, customer genres down a level here so it's a bit easier to read. And uh, I think we need another bracket there. Uh, so let's put a bracket on. Um, that's going to get us what we want for that one. Um, that's for the, the joins that I just did there. And you can see this is our original query that we did. And then we use that query inside of this query uh, as a subquery to this query, which gives us the final list of IDs. And then we just put that, you know, we can select anything at that point uh, from the customer table if we want to use the customer table. And so nice and easy. Um, and let's hit go. And there we go. Oh, we've got one. <laughs> uh, this guy here. Uh, so, um, so we had one customer with that was you know using one genre um, and uh, and we can also try that we could put in say seven here or something uh, I don't know we could put in some number so this will give you you know each of these people uh, were purchasing from seven genres you can also look at this in in the uh, design view if you want uh, which we'll go back to here in a moment um, you can use uh, less than, say, maybe you want it to be less than or equal to a certain number. Um, so people who, you know, didn't purchase widely and you could target those people. Uh, so there's a list of 35 in that list. Um, and uh, this is very, very handy for this kind of query. Um, so we could go back to one. Uh, less than equal to one. We got our, our, <clears throat> you know, David Smith there, and uh, and that's what we want to see. Now we can look at this. Like I said, we can look at this in the design view. So you can put your cursor in there and go Shift F2 if you want, and you can see you could actually build this little query, you know, in the zoom or in in the criteria box of the query grid in Microsoft Access. Um, however, at a certain point when you start um, designing queries that are that have a bit of meat to them, um, you start to keep everything in one sheet because you'll refer to different parts of your query as you work on them. And that's how you can simulate count distinct in Microsoft Access using subqueries. Looking for more resources for your project? Make sure to check out the additional links in the description.